Hi, I'm Scott, and this is day 10 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And all this week, we've been talking about worship. What is worship? Uh, why should we worship? And now we're looking at different ways that we can worship. And today we're talking about worshiping through our adoration of God. And adoration is probably a word you don't use every day. It comes from the word adore, and it simply means to have a deep love and respect for someone or something. When you adore someone, you often find that you just want to spend time with them. Not necessarily to have a conversation or to do anything with them together, but just to be in their presence. And I believe that is at the heart of our passage for today. So today we're going to be looking at Psalm 145. Now I'm not going to read the entire Psalm for you today, but I do encourage you at some point, read through this Psalm. One unique thing about Psalm 145 is it is an acrostic Psalm. And that means that the first word of each line begins with a successive letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Now this is a clever device for constructing the poetic nature of the Psalm, but more likely, I believe uh, David used this device to help memorize the psalm. So as you went through each line, you just went through the first letter of the alphabet, and then the second letter, and then the third letter. So what is it about this psalm, though, that David thought was so important to remember? Well, throughout this psalm, David reflects on various attributes of God's character that are worthy of our praise and our adoration. I would like to point out four of these attributes to you. The first one, God's greatness is immeasurable. Verse 3 says, and I'm reading from the NLT version, Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. Number two, God's goodness is abundant. Verse 9 says, The Lord is good to everyone. He showers compassion on all his creation. Third, God's kingdom is everlasting. In verse 13 it says, for your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. You rule throughout all generations. And number four, God's kindness is limitless. In verse 16, we read, when you open your hand, you satisfy the hunger and thirst of every living thing. So how do we worship God? Through our adoration of God, by simply taking the time to sit still and reflect on who this God is and enjoying His presence. Imagine you're a child sitting in the lap of your Heavenly Father, amazed at how awesome and how powerful He is, but also just how good, how kind, how generous He is. And let this also be a thought to you. Not only do we enjoy our adoration of our Heavenly Father, He adores you as well and longs to just be in your presence. So as you're going through this 21 days of prayer and fasting, I want to encourage you to make sure that you take time during your day to just sit still, enjoy God's presence, and know that He is enjoying yours as well. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you soon. God bless.